Hey guys, welcome back. This is part of our Laravel tutorial series, um, learning how to build a blog system. I'm our host, J.A. Curtis. You can call me Alex. And um, in this video, this actually is gonna be a step back from what we were doing before, just because I was going through a whole bunch of the comments um, while posting, getting caught up on, um, getting caught up on comments and posting a few new videos. And while I was waiting for the videos to upload, I was going through comments. And I actually saw kind of a trend with a couple of the comments where people were having a lot of the same problem. And so I looked at it on my current project, which is based off of basically the, the GitHub source files. And um, you can see that I've got the web page open here. And a lot of people were mentioning this problem and I realized I have the exact same problem. I forgot to go back and get it fixed. So we're gonna fix this little bug in this video. It's gonna be a quick one because it's pretty easy to do. And then we'll continue on with the series. So um, anyway, if you click us about and contact, all these buttons work, but it no longer highlights um, highlights the current item. So home is always selected as the current item. And so we wanna get this fixed. So how do we get this fixed? That's what this video is about because I realized that we never actually resolved this. And a lot of you guys are thinking that you did something wrong. In the comments I'm seeing that you guys think you messed up. You guys didn't mess up, I didn't teach you, and we're gonna go back and do it right now. Okay, so that's what this one's about. Let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm not gonna do a lot of editing in this one because this is just a quick video. No intros or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our Sublime file. And as you guys should know, where do you go to look at this navigation? If we wanna deal with these navi this navigation across all of our web pages. Oh, I shut down the server. Um, here, I'm gonna open a new tab and do it in a new tab. But anyway, if you want to um, work on this, you know that you're gonna to go to your main template file. This is the benefit of having one file that manages navigation across the entire website, that when we have problems like this, problem, we only have to fix it in one place and everything will take advantage of it. Let's go back over to Sublime and let's find that um, that template file that we use for everything. It's our main template file. It's under resources, views, and then it's this main main.blade.php. Of course, when we open it, we remember that there's partials here. So um, we got partials, navigation, that's where it's all stored. So let's come over to our partials, look at our navigation, and here is where we see basically everything we're working on. Here's the home page, the about page, and the contact page. Now, why does the home page stay highlighted even if you're on other pages? Well, that's because we never told it that it needs to change. So if you look here, there's this class with Bootstrap called active, and you have a list item within your menu with a class of active, then Bootstrap automatically highlights it as gray, and that's what's happening here. So we can make another button if we just make about and we give that a class of active let's save that over come over here refresh you can see that about now is highlighted of course now if i go home it doesn't change no matter what page i'm on but that's the highlighted one okay so we what we need to do here is we just need to tell it um to only give it a class of active if um we're on the that page so for about we need to be on the about page and on contact we need to be on the contact page and home we need to be on the home page otherwise you basically don't have a class of active so we're doing a basic if then statement and we're gonna have to do that with each of these buttons okay now there again there are more complex ways to do that but this is a pretty simple request because we know that for example the about page is always going to be slash about the um, contact page is always going to be cut slash contact and so forth okay so let's go ahead and do this so what i'm going to do here is we're going to do class um, we're gonna make a little if statement in here, and we're gonna test to see if um, we're at a certain URL, and if we are, we're gonna add, we're gonna return this little class of active, and if we're not, then we'll just do nothing, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna actually make a thing called class right in the middle of here, and we're going to add some blade in, in the middle, okay? So we're opening this class file, and then inside this blade statement, I wanna write a basic if statement that checks if we're on the home page, and if we are, then it's going to return active, so then the active will be right inside of this class right here. So the active will be right in this area, giving that um, list item the, the class of active and therefore highlighting it. And of course, if we're not on the home page, then we'll just return a blank string, meaning this will be class with nothing, and it's not going to have that active class, so it won't, you know, display as active. Okay. We're going to be using the ternary operator. You guys should know this with PHP. It's really, really useful. It's an inline if statement. Basically, we do a conditional statement, then we do a question mark, and then we put whatever we want to return if that conditional is true. Then we do a colon, and we put whatever we want to return if that conditional is false. That's what we'll be doing here. So our conditional is going to be looking at the request and seeing if it's equal to the home page, which is slash about, okay? So what we can do with um, Laravel is Laravel's got a nice little helper file that's called request. 
And if we do, well, request is a, a class of helper files, and it has a lot of things we can do with it, but one of those is we can see if we're on a current page. So if we do request is, we can say, hey, is the current HTTP request, are we set to this URL? And then we just put in whatever URL we're looking for. So in this case, the home is slash, just gonna be the slash page. So if we're on that request, then what we wanna do, if it, then uh, we wanna return active, okay? so. This little statement right here is just gonna return true or false. That's all we need for a conditional to be to work is it needs to return true or false. So if we are on this homepage, it's gonna return true. And if it's not, we're gonna return false. So now what we can do is add our question mark. Our question mark, after our question mark, this is gonna be what to return if it's true. So if we are on the homepage, we wanna return active. And then we'll do a colon, and this is what we to return if it's false. Now, if it's false, we don't want to return anything, okay? So we can just do an empty string there. We do need to return something. The ternary operator requires a true and false. You can't just have a true. So you'll have to have a false statement. But returning a blank string is basically like returning nothing, okay? Um, all right, that finishes up this class. Let's go ahead and just make sure this one works, and then we can replicate it across all of them. So let's go ahead and save the file, come back over, refresh our page. You can see we're on the home page. We've got a little error here because home and about are both set. So let's come back to our sublime. It's because right here we have active is hard coded in for, for about. So let's get rid of that and save back over here and refresh. Okay, now about is gone, but home is active. Okay, so home is selected, which means that this little statement is working. Just to make sure it's working, let's go to a page other than home. Let's come to about and you can see that it's no longer active. You come to contact, it's no longer active. We click home and it's active. So now you can see that all we need to do here is we can just replicate this little class thing. Let's just replicate that in these other two. So I'm gonna copy down here, paste, um, copy it down here. Okay, we went a little haywire there. Okay, space, enter. And so now what we can do is the request is, we're gonna set it equal to about. Now, our, so we're gonna go slash about. In fact, we don't even need the slash, you can just do bout. Um, and this one could be contact. All right, so if we're on the about page, which is this link, we want it to be active, otherwise nothing. If we're on the contact page, we want it to be active, otherwise nothing. And then now those three buttons should work. If we go ahead and save, refresh, sure enough, we're on the home page, only home is selected. We're on the about page, now about is selected. Now we're on contact and contact is selected, okay? It's that simple, guys. Um, that's basically all there is for this. This is a, just a quick tip to get you guys going. Um, what we can do in future, and if you guys wanna do that, you can even share them with me, kind of your way of doing it. Um, you can email me kind of your code for how to how you did it if you wanna show me how you guys did it. But there are some more advanced methods we can do, which I think I'll touch on soon. I don't wanna fit everything into this tutorial series, so I wanna separate some stuff out. And so I think I'm gonna make that a, a separate little video, just a single video, but it will be separate from the series, where what we'll do is we'll actually have a helper file that's an external helper file in our, um, that, we, that can do some more extra, you know, complicated URLs. So, for example, if we have one called, uh, you know, a link here for posts, and we go to post slash three or something like that, we want it to still select posts. And currently, this method won't do that. Okay, so this only does specific URLs. Um, all right, so there are more complicated ways to do things like that. Um, if you guys have an idea, go ahead and try it out. You can post it in the comments, or you can send it to me as an email. Um, I'm going to go through and do another video specifically about this topic and we'll hit up a bunch of different ways you can do it. I've got a preferred way to do it, but again, it, it goes into some, some more tricky uh, techniques, which we'll be better prepared for after this tutorial series, okay? Guys, good work. Um, thanks for commenting. If, if, Like I said, I'm reading these comments. This is how I came up with this tutorial series, this tutorial, uh, this video we're doing right now is because of the comments. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, and we'll get them fixed and we'll make videos about them if needed. Otherwise, I can help you individually. Um, that's it for now. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. I appreciate it a ton. Um, I'm really grateful for you guys' support. Share this with your friends. I'm really excited with how fast the channel's growing. And that just gives me more fuel to keep running and keep making videos for you guys. So you guys are welcome. Um, and uh, thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.